Today is April 11, 2016. It is Monday. I'm doing a review of this case of babesiosis, which had been videoed before. According to the owner, who had taken the dog back on April the 8th, that is one day after my imizo injection of 0 0.2 ML subcutaneous after the diagnosis of babesiosis the dog has uh, improved and is barking now so the news is good uh, as the dog is eating and, and much more active and since the dog is far away I can't video the dog today but the over the weekend Saturday Sunday the owner did not call me and uh, so today we call him now is April 11th four days after seeing the dog and treating it intensively with IV drips and uh, and checking to confirm that uh, it is babesiosis rather than heartworm E. canis Lyme disease or anaplasmosis the dog with the peripheral blood smear show that it is PPC positive and so imazole which was given subcutaneous at 0 0.2 ml had worked judging by the outcome as you can see, the other two vets on the 23rd March during the first visit had done by blood test as well and there were similar findings of low red blood cell low hemoglobin and low platelets but uh, on 23rd, the diagnosis was likely to be gastritis. But the owner came back again uh, on the 30th with similar findings from the blood test, except that the total white cell count has gone up. So there was an infection. But still, you get the same results of thrombocytopenia, which is low red cell count and low platelets but uh, the vet might have suspected tick fever because the vet prescribed doxycycline on 30th however the dog did not respond as appetite was poor so the owner came to see me or the owner's father came to see me on the 7th I saw the gums were all pale snow white and there was an increase in total white cell count and neutrophils suggestive of a bacterial infection as well as I did a blood uh, babesius smear <coughs> of the peripheral blood and there were many ruptured red blood cells with babesio babesia organic organisms inside the red blood cells so this confirms babesiosis and treatment has been successful as four days after the injection the dog is barking and has appetite